Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be guiding through the process of how we got the number of Rubik's Cube scrambles that the Rubik's Cube can have, which to be precise is 43 quintillion, 252 quadrillion, 3 trillion, 274 billion, 489 million, and 860,000. So let's get right into this. A normal Rubik's Cube has 26 pieces. There are six center pieces, which do not move relative to the other center pieces, so we will ignore these in this video. There are 12 edge pieces, four on the top, four on the middle layer, and four on the bottom layer. There are also eight different corner pieces, four on the top and four on the bottom. So first, let's calculate the number of different combinations of edges you could have. First, the edges. There are 12 edges around the Rubik's Cube. Since every edge can go into any of these 12 slots, it means that to calculate the number of different combinations that the edges could have, it would be 12 factorial. But also, remember that for every single edge, it could be flipped, which means that Actually, you need to multiply that number, 12 factorial, by 2 to the 12th power, because that shows you all the different cases if you have a flipped edge. Next, let's move on to the corners. There are 8 corners, so like before, this will be 8 factorial. But also remember that each corner can be rotated in 3 different ways. Therefore, you need to multiply that, 8 factorial, by 3 to the 8th power. Now, we only need to multiply these together to get the total different combinations on the Rubik's Cube. So, these two numbers multiplied together would get you... Round of applause. Oh, it's not the right number. It's this big number right here. That is nowhere close to the 43 quintillion that we were looking for. But, remember, that only one twelfth of all of the Rubik's Cube scrambles are actually solvable. That means that we need to divide this value by 12, or multiplying it by one twelfths. This finally gives us 43 quintillion, 252 quadrillion, 3 trillion, 274 billion, 489 million, 860. Thousand. And there you go. There is how we got the number of different scrambles that our Rubik's Cube can have. Including one of these is the solved state. Alright guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!